Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I want to show you guys something today. Today, So this is Marvel Spider-Man. I'm running it on my PC via Steam, but we have got a, a new app or an app that's been around or at least new to me. I only just discovered it. It's called Shader Glass and it's made by Mazimus. And this lets you add effects to anything running on your PC. That's right. So I'm running Spider-Man now and I can run any effects on it to my heart's desire. So let me, uh, let me bring that window up so you guys can see it. Let's just drag it across over here and here you go i've got spider-man running here let's make it full screen or at least full screen kind of window now you can get rid of the options but i want to go through the options so here we go um we can select lots it's got lots and lots of different effects as you can see i'm just going through some random ones here and uh, if we were to go through like the menu uh, you can see the amount of options that are available there so uh, here we go there's, there's there's a whole bunch here let's let's get it stuck on something that i kind of like because some of them they're not going to look good on this but it's all down to you it, what kind of visual effect you want to go to you know if you watch spider-man uh, movies growing up on vhs then maybe one of these shaders is going to be like wow i remember that that's how i remember spider-man i really do like the vhs ones if we go to shader you can actually choose them see i was pressing r there to just get myself a random one but if you press n for next you can get that but let me go to choose and as you can see guys there's a whole bunch of shaders here you can just see lots and lots it's got pretty much lots and lots of the available ones in um in retroarch and i spoke to the developer who's always interested in bringing more over but as you can see there's lots and lots there hopefully i'm not going to skip past the vhs ones vhs here we go there's there's some really good vhs ones there you go remember those lines when you had your vhs and it was on its way out or the head was dirty you know you had that and then you've got this with like a little thing down there slow play it recording like awesome stuff i really really do like a lot of these effects but as you can see you know you can you can play it like that let me close that down uh, i should have plugged in a, a proper controller i've actually got an, a, a controller plugged in without analog sticks it's uh, my 8-bit to m30 but here you go you can play you can play your game like that if that's something you want to do but i think it looks really really nice but what we'll do is we'll have a look at some other games also guys if you're really interested in this work mazimas has a a kofi if you wish to um you know if you wish to support his work because this really really is awesome you can add visual effects to anything uh via your windows machine and here we are and this is proof we are we're messing about with spider-man uh on this and guys it just looks really really good so i'll leave uh mazimas's details his twitter his kofi and his website in the description of the video so do check that out but in the meantime let's check out some other games and see what these effects look like on there okay next up guys let's have a look at some fightcade replay so this is street fight 3 third strike and here is uh here is a game in action and uh, let's go and i'm going to press r again and we're going to go through some random filters as you can see during gameplay it's going to change and we're going to get a whole bunch of different ones so you can apply this to your retro game so you don't have to have the effects in the software if you've got an emulator or something out there that doesn't give you scan lines or doesn't give you the effects that you want that it looks like a vhs recording remember like a bad recording that you had it looks like that but i i absolutely love this stuff do let me know in the comments below what you think of it but you can use this for absolutely anything guys you can put this over your web browser and watch netflix like uh, like you're watching an old uh, vhs tape but hey you go. I'm just gonna cycle free a uh, few through uh, a few more. Let's look at the last round and then we'll move on to something else. But guys, like honestly, like share your thoughts about this below because I'm genuinely impressed. Like, look at that one. That that's given them like a black outline. Not something I would like to play the game with, but I'm definitely fascinated by all this stuff. I do like CRT scan lines, so maybe that's something I would like to go for for my games because generally, if I'm not recording, because like I always say, the compression makes the recording looks bad look bad sometimes. Uh, this one just looks bad anyway but um uh, i do when i'm playing and I, i'm not filming i am i'm always using scan lines because it makes it it makes it it gives it an arcade feel something that i like the way that i remember these games when i played them when they were current so that's definitely something good to use and uh, shout out to the fightcade guys and guys if you've not tried fightcade it is fantastic uh so i'm running this on a replay but this is a replay it's not like a video replay so replay that's just it's playing the inputs that were pressed during this match during the final burn neo emulator so this effectively is final burn neo and it's showing you the effects that you can use on that and honestly guys like get on this like try it next up what we'll do is we will try uh, a youtube video i'll go over to one of my youtube videos and i'll play it but i'll play it with um with this running on there <laughs> so we should have some interesting results 
Okay, let's just wait for the knockout, guys. You know, we, we've got this far. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, is it is it going to end? These these are two good players. I've looked at the best the best replays of Fight K. Ken wins. Okay, next up, guys, this is one of my videos. Now, this intro has effects on it anyway, so let's make it full screen because we are missing some of the bottom out there. So here we go. Go to output, full screen, and then like we were previously, let's go and try some random different effects as we're doing this. So you can do this over a video now. <laughs> so if you are watching a movie and you want to see some different effects, you know, you want to see that VHS style, you want to make it look like you're watching my videos or YouTube, you know, whether you're watching Netflix or a movie, you might be watching something on VLC if you just want to change it up and you want it look looking like something from the 80s you want that nostalgia kick then hey you can you can you can definitely watch it and we're going through some of the effects here I don't know what that one was but there you go that looks like a like a bad camera shot one and uh, yeah there's a whole bunch of effects here man like just I don't know just I'm really impressed by this man I like the fact that we can just here you go that looks like we're watching one of those uh, 80s children's uh, programs that was out so the reason that I chose this is because a lot of my stuff is actually just gaming videos and this is an example of a time where I'm actually filming and reviewing um, the M30 controller it's a really good controller by the way if you haven't got one and if you are going to get one get the white one because the white uh, 2.4 gigahertz one is a USB-C controller but hey this isn't a controller review this is us looking at shade the glass and just how awesome it is you can you can watch your stuff anyhow you want it's so easy to get these effects uh go uh, up and going now you might see some slowdown and uh, those things there it's because my pc is a few years old and it's not that it's not it's not a new kid on the block or anything like that okay so we're going through some games now which is quite interesting as well because i'll be testing games in here we haven't got any of the speech going there but i will cycle through some of the shaders there you go that's that's a nice looking crt one so um yeah once we're running street fighter that is that is looking decent guys so definitely definitely share your thoughts about this uh, stick around uh, after after i kind of uh, stop showcasing all this stuff what i will do is i will go and uh, give you guys a tutorial of how to get it up and running you really don't need a tutorial it's very very easy you, you, you literally download a file you run the file and you can have this but remember the possibilities with this guys you can run this over anything if you've got an emulator that doesn't have scan lines you can run it on that you can run it on videos even though we're looking at a game here this is uh, this is uh, this is YouTube this is YouTube that we're doing this over so it's over a YouTube video we're watching it and there's a whole bunch of nice effects there's hundreds in there and there's updates yet to come uh, the developer Mazimas he's really really cool even if you were to reach out to him on uh, Twitter or anything and say are you you know is have you are you planning to get anything else out i'm sure he will respond and do it because like i said he watched one of my previous videos where i used the the, the kind of mirror uh the mirror shaders and he said he'd like to get those ones in on the next update so that was nice to know because i do like the reflective shaders i really do like using them <laughs> okay i wouldn't recommend it guys but if you want to uh browse the web with this well you can browse the web with it <laughs> it won't be very good it won't be very clear let's just shut this down now and actually look at the web properly so this is massimus the developer behind it this is their twitter this is the website i leave all the links to this uh everything you're seeing on here in the description of this video and uh here is their coffee if you if you're really impressed with it and you want to support their work you can leave them a donation a one-time or a monthly one uh completely optional not required but always appreciated and this is their github okay guys if you want to get it up and running let's do the tutorial part follow the github link uh the github link which will bring you here now just scroll down here and what you want to do is you want to go to this part here shader glass download and once you're on download this is it this is the version that i'm using 0.9 so let's go ahead and download that and it's going to download rather quickly again depending on your connection but it's not a big app or anything um and here we go let's uh let's let's get this up and running now shall we here we go so that's my that's my downloads folder here it is now do your due diligence always scan your stuff i've downloaded this multiple times today while prepping up for this video so i know it's clean i'm just going to unzip this quickly always use seven zip because that's the one i've been using for a long time and it, it just kind of works for me and guys this is really it. it is a simple one to use let's delete the zip once you've extracted it and you've got this folder here you have got shader glass shader glass is here and that is it you run 
this .exe and it will run for you. Now, initially, there's a window up here now. So you can see me moving my mouse. I'm moving the window, but it, it doesn't show up on the capture card. And that window is very, very neat. All you need to do with that window is, um, all you need to do that window is you can move it over everything and it will just show you effects for that part of the window. You can see the windows up here because if I go input now, you're going to see these options turn up. It just doesn't show up through my capture card, which is a shame because it's a good way to do a comparison if I could get that working. If that was somewhere I could do it in the future, I would. The way I was doing it was highlighting the window. And over here, what well, where is that window we're using? Shade of glass. Here we go. Google Chrome. So if I then choose the window, here you go. You can see that I've got I've I, I've allocated this window to that. So it's showing me what's in that window. But that's really it, guys. Once you're in there, you know you've got all the options in there. Have a look at the options. Uh, go through it. Play about with it. It's very very good. There's a whole bunch of option, uh, options on there. You can choose what display you want it on, or if you're dragging a window around like I am now, you can allocate a window to it so it runs on something. You can make that window full size. It is just such a great app, guys. Like, honestly, like, definitely, definitely check this out. And then shader, you know, you can go ahead and choose your shaders, whatever you want. Here we go. We've got different CRT effects. Whatever I want to use, I can use. I know you're not going to be able to read that clearly or anything, but that's it. That's, that's the tutorial. Download that app. I'll leave a link in the description once you've got that up and running bang profit you are running all these different effects okay guys so uh that was it for this video i really hope uh, you enjoyed it if you did then a thumbs up and a subscription is super appreciated do let me know uh what your experience with um shader glass is like uh yeah let me definitely let me know i mean it works really really well on windows i've tried it with uh, spider-man which is a uh, a fairly new pc game we've tried it on retro games we've tried it on uh, chrome uh, on youtube and it works really really well so definitely definitely check it out like i think it's fantastic so anyway guys take care of yourself take care of each other i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry ninja out